Subpart F inclusions are also looked through a lot like dividends. They are basketized based on the E and P underlying the exclusion. But there are three twists. The first is an inherent aspect of subpart F that is different than dividends. Subpart F inclusions come in two flavors, the current year subpart F inclusion and inclusions because the CFC invested in U.S. property. The current year flavor takes into, into account only current E&P. The investment in U.S. property flavor works just like a dividend, considering both current and accumulated E&P. There's just one basketization of each year's E&P for both dividends and subpart F. The difference here is that current E&P is all that's considered for the regular subpart F inclusion. The second twist is that subpart F inclusions are subject to a high tax kickout at 90% of the top U.S. tax rate for corporations. This 90% test and tax rate apply even if the shareholder is an individual. The third twist is the impact of the subpart F E&P limitation and recharacterization. We'll cover these subpart F items much more in the subpart F module. There are two additional aspects of look-through that don't involve CFCs. Look-through is applied to payments received from a 50% or more owned U.S. corporation. Thus, if your 50-50 U.S. sub pays you rent on a building in Canada, the rent is looked through and basketized according to the type of income to which the sub allocates the rent. Look through also applies to guaranteed payments received by 10% or more general partners in partnerships. Limited partners and less than 10% partners though treat interest, dividends, rents, and royalties they receive from the partnership as passive. We're not talking about distributive share items here. We're talking about guaranteed payments only. The character of a partner's distributive share of partnership income items is determined at the partnership level, for most things, and flows through to the partner. There are ordering rules for determining look-through since deduction items at the CFC or partnership level may impact other deductions and always impact dividends. First, calculate the look-through for rents and royalties. Next, calculate it for interest. Then calculate it for subpart F income and partnership distributive share items. Finally, calculate the dividend look-through. Hope you found this helpful, and thanks for learning with me.